card. Here she comes. Good morning, little angel. Good morning, ladies. They have work to be doing. Good morning, Daddy. Will you excuse me for a moment, Ted? We'll pick this up later. Alexa, sweetheart, we talked about this. At work, I'm your boss, not your father. When I gave you this job, you promised me you'd be professional. I know, I know. I just need a favour, well, more like a loan. Alexis, what happened to the money I gave you last month? I had to use it for stuff. What stuff? More clothes, by any chance? Just stuff, okay. Please, Daddy, please. Fine, but I mean it, Alexis. This is the last time I pay you out. From now on, you have to earn your own money, like everyone else in the world. How much do you need? About 3,000. Denny, it's Alexis. I need some more. Not so fast, sweetheart. You still owe me some money. Yeah, I know. I've got it, don't worry. What? You're six grand? Wait, 6,000. I only owe three grand. You took too long, sweetheart. I want some um, compensation, if you will. Okay, okay. I can get it, don't worry. I'll get you the money. Feel the same, sweetheart. I hope so. I just... I need some help, Daddy. What have you done now? Nothing. I just need some more money. No. Please hear me out. No. I told you only this morning I'm not bailing you out anymore. Dad, you don't understand. You'd kill me. Please! No. From now on, you have to deal with your own problems. You got yourself into this mess, and now you have to deal with it. Can't believe it. My own father shut me out. I'm sorry, Alexis. Oh, don't be. How do we expect help off you? An apathetic bastard who cares more about his business than his only daughter. You know that's not true. Don't bother. I hate you. I just don't know what to do. He's completely cut me off the selfish bastard. We better find me a way to get the money soon. I know, I know. I just don't know how. Don't cry, sweetheart. I think I know a few ways you'd get me the money. No. I can't do that. I won't. Do you like your old man? Is it, do you care about him? No, not after what he's done to me. Then I think I've got a solution. Get rid of the old man. Inherit the fortune and the company. Then everything you've ever wanted will be yours. And so. Are you saying I should kill my father? Not you personally. Get someone else to do your dirty work for you. I know a guy who will help. I know he's put me over big time, but... But what? I don't know. Exactly. What's stopping you? My guy's great and he'll leave no traces. Plus, you'll be free and not to mention extremely rich. Okay. Let's do it. That's my girl. I'll get you his information. Are you the angel? Yes. And you must be Miss Hamilton. Uh, yeah, I'm Miss Hamilton. Did you have the information? Yeah, it's all in here. His work schedule, eating habits, bedtimes, everything. I also took the liberty of having a blank key card made for the building, so you can get in and out without tripping the alarm. And that's from a payment? You'll be paid the agreed sum of 10,000 when the money enters my account. Excellent. And I warn you, Miss Hamilton, don't take me for a fool or you will regret it. I understand, sir. You leave first. Yeah. Did you see your ID? Hey, stay where you are. Sir, are you alright? Yeah, yes, yes, I'm fine. I'll call the police, sir. Yes, get
get this filthy degenerate out of here. What the fuck is happening here? What am I supposed to do? Your guy turns out to be some skinny bastard. You can't even beat down a 40 year old security guard and then take out a 70 year old man. That's not even my problem. I'm getting sick of helping you out. No one your old man cut you off. He should have done it years ago. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to shout. I just don't want to. Die? Oh, I'm not going to kill you. I'm just going to hurt you. Really, really bad. <laughs> Oh, I see. How? I know this is hard to hear, but he suffered from a heart attack. Most likely we were talking about the shock of last night's incident. I see. Thank you. Who was that? <laughs> that was my dad's solicitor. The fat bastard's had a heart attack. <laughs> Did you look at that, sweetheart? It's all worked out in the end. Good afternoon, everyone. Shall we begin? Yeah, of course. The Last Will and Testament of James William Hamilton I, James Hamilton, hereby leave my wealth to the following charitable organisations The NSPCC, WaterAid and Plan UK What? No, this can't be right. It can't! And I, James Hamilton, leave my majority share of my company to the corporate executives and it is to run the same as it has and ever was since its founding. As for my daughter Alexis, I leave nothing to her but my undying love and affection I hope that you can forgive me, my sweetheart, but I promise you I've only done this to keep you safe from yourself. Look now and always your father. No. No. Why would he do this? Why? I'm sorry, Miss Hamilton, but those are your father's wishes. I wish there was something I could do. 